Hi everyone, Stefan here, Product Manager for Digi Remote Manager. Today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the new Digi Remote Manager UI. First, let's take a look at the top row. If you click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner, you will see you can remove the left hand menu. You can also minimize the menu by clicking on the arrow on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If we look at the right side of the top row, you will see three clickable options. First, you will see the notification center envelope, indicating that you have unread notifications. If you click on it, you will see all unread notifications. You can also, from this view, navigate to the notifications management page by clicking manage all notifications. The next option you'll see, if you have the sub accounts functionality active in your account, will be a drop down to scope yourself to one of your sub accounts. The final clickable option you will see in the top row will be your username. If you click on your username, you will see that you have a few options to select from. First, you will see the link to the user guide for Digi Remote Manager. Next, you will see the link to navigate to the classic version of Digi Remote Manager. Your next clickable option is the feedback section. From here, you can provide any feedback you want to give us on the platform. We use user feedback to influence our development of the platform. So if there's ever a specific feature that you're looking for, the best way to do so is by just letting us know in the feedback section. If you click on the What's New section, you will see all the information for the new features and functionalities for the latest release of Digi Remote Manager. You can also see the latest release notes from the What's New pop-up by clicking on View Detailed Release Notes. You can change your view of the platform to Dark Mode by clicking on Switch to Dark Mode. You can also change it back to Light Mode by clicking on Switch to Light Mode. Your last three options are to change your password, edit your user profile, and log out. Next, let's take a look at the menu on the left-hand side of the screen. First, you will see your dashboard. The dashboard is a great place to see all your device activity. You will see a few options on your dashboard. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you will see that you can refresh the dashboard as well as edit your dashboard. When editing your dashboard, you have the option to add new widgets, remove widgets, as well as move your widgets around. Please take a look at the dashboard video for more information. Next, let's take a look at the devices page. But before we look at the functionality available here, I want to point out the search bar. Our search bar can be used in two ways. First, it functions very simply like a standard search bar. But if you click on advanced search, you'll see that you can search on very specific categories. For example, if you want to do a search based on device tags, you can simply select tag and search for a tag name. This functionality is available throughout the platform. Now let's take a look at the functionality we have in the devices page. From the devices page, you can manage all your devices individually or in bulk, as well as add new devices. You can also see your device's location from the maps view. If we go back to the devices view, you can see that you can select one device or multiple devices. Once you have selected a device, you can go to the Actions tab, and from there, you have a few options. You can see your device's details, edit the device settings, update the device firmware, ping the device, turn on maintenance mode, reboot, disconnect, and remove the device, as well as manage device tags and add a device to a group. You can also add a device to a group by dragging and dropping it into a group. Moving devices to a group is an extremely powerful tool that you can use in conjunction with the Configurations Manager tool to allow you to apply the exact configuration to multiple devices at the same time. We allow you to apply the same device type to different groups so that you can apply the exact configuration to that group of devices as needed. Speaking of configurations, let's take a look at the Configurations page. As indicated before, configurations are applied to groups. From this page, you can create new configurations as well as manage existing configurations. You can enable a configuration as well as select a configuration and edit, delete, or scan your configuration. When you scan a configuration, this will scan all the attached devices for compliance. 
You can do this manually or set it up to happen automatically, daily, weekly, or monthly. Creating a configuration is a great way to ensure your devices stay in compliance in accordance with the configuration you have created. More information can be found on the Configurations Manager video. Next, let's take a look at the Alerts page. From this page, you can view and manage all triggered alerts. If you select an alert, you can see the alert details as well as acknowledge or reset the alert. Please keep in mind that we are still developing on this feature and for the time being, if you need to create a custom alert, you will need to do so from the classic view of Digi Remote Manager. Next in the menu is the activity page. From here, you can see all current activity on your devices. For example, if there are current firmware updates taking place, you can see them from here. If you click on account, you will see two options. First, if you click on users, from this page, you can manage all your current account users as well as add new users. Please see the user management video for more information. Next, you will see accounts. From this page, you can create and or manage your primary account and sub accounts. If you select an account, you can see the account details as well as scope yourself to a sub account. Please keep in mind that we are still developing on this feature. There are more features coming to sub account management very soon. Next, we're going to take a look at the notifications tab. You can now receive notifications and messages for new firmware updates, upcoming releases, and more. Messages can be received both in app and via email. If you don't log into DigiRemote Manager very often, you can subscribe to receive daily emails with unread notifications by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Notifications included in daily emails will be considered read when the email is sent. You can also manage your notifications from the page by selecting them and then clicking on actions. You can open a notification to see the entire message as well as mark it read or unread. You can save the message so that it doesn't go away. You can also unsave it and or delete it. Unread notifications will remain in your notification center for 90 days and red notifications will remain there for 30 days, unless saved. Finally, we're going to take a look at the API Explorer. APIs are the connective tissue in today's ecosystems. For companies who know how to implement them, you can cut costs, improve efficiency, and help the bottom line. The API Explorer is a tool that helps you explore various APIs interactively. With the API Explorer, you can quickly browse through available APIs, execute requests and see responses in real time, make authenticated and authorized API calls with ease, and search across all services and methods to quickly find what you're looking for. Thank you for taking the time with us today to take a tour of the new DigiRemote Manager. We are always improving on the platform and welcome your feedback. Thank you.